I'd always wanted to have a place, so I uh, just kind of started saving stuff years ago. Wanted to uh, work for myself and have a place. I'd always go out of town and see things that uh, were independently run, and my goal was to eventually one day do that. And after uh, working for other people for quite a while, I decided I'd had enough stock saved up and enough uh, gumption to give it a shot. I've lived in the neighborhood a long time, and just knew it was a matter of finding kind of the right place and the right location and the right atmosphere. And this neighborhood seemed to be supportive of something like this, so quit my job and gave it a shot. I like old stuff, so uh, you know, it always had a fondness for things from my childhood, things that meant things to me, from toys to uh, clothes, and and then. Um, listening to old country music and that kind of thing, a fondness for boots and, and western shirts. So uh, looking for that kind of thing for myself led into finding it for other people. Oh no, not Jack Gibson. <laughs> this place is going downhill. <laughs> if we could keep clientele like Jack Gibson from coming in, that'd be the main problem <laughs> with the store, you know. You get these old railroad guys that show up and you know, I don't know. Bad penny. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it up. Bad penny. <laughs> we just wanted like a kind of a neighborhood place, neighborhood bar. Uh, just, we've been to uh, several different places, you know, to Austin, Nashville. Uh, places we always traveled around we always wanted to find like the local hangouts and the, the stuff that showed what that town kind of was about local culture I guess you'd say and so that was kind of the thinking behind it and we just wanted a place that was um, uh, friendly welcoming um, accepting and in addition to uh, the bar we we're also in a in a band the loose leg <laughs> me and Brian uh, been Playing together, geez, eight or nine years. And then uh, Jeff, the bass player, has been with us about six or seven, I guess. And Bill plays guitar, he's played with us about four or five, off and on. This is the trouble we're worried about. We're worried about this fine lady from right up the street. Really, Brian? She's, she, uh, really? she works this corner at night. I so, do. Uh, well, and I, I found myself a winner. Yeah. I found a keeper. Keeper. <laughs> Wait, awesome. I have to feel it, is feel it? it? It's heavy, and I'll be sweating. I'll be green. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of sparkles. They're all actually real diamonds. drink between every song. We hope you're drinking during the song. We've got this little thing of liquor drinks in here. <laughs> 